What's going on all my crypto fiends out there? Crypto fiend here with another video and in today's video I'm going to be going over how to use Binance. Now let's get into it. Now what you're going to want to do is pull up Binance.com and if you don't know what Binance is, it is an exchange for all different types of cryptocurrencies. I personally think it's the best exchange out there. They have hands down the most altcoins you could ask for and they're adding new ones every single day and I just really think it's definitely the one you want to go with especially if you have not gotten in into purchasing altcoins yet I highly suggest using this exchange to do so so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to binance.com and uh, I of course already have an account but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want you're going to want to create an account. It's very simple. You just fill out the information. And then you're going to want to log in. Now, I have a two-step verification on my account where I have to use a Google Authenticator to get into my account, which is just random uh, number generator. And once I do that, I'm ready to go. I highly recommend using that to keep people from hacking your account and all that fancy stuff. Um, yes, my name is Ryan, if you were interested. But uh, this is the exchange. This is just my information, blah, blah, blah. But um, I want to show you guys pretty much a tour of the exchange and how to use it. It's very simple. I think it's the best exchange. So I want to show you the um, the exchanges. They have a basic and an advanced exchange. This is the basic exchange. It just shows the it shows the graph. It shows the sell orders. It shows the buy orders down here, and um, it shows all the trading history over here. Down here, it's going to show the where you can purchase and sell. Right now, we're on Substratum and um, it's very simple if I, say I wanted to purchase substratum right now um, you can either use Bitcoin Ethereum or uh, the Binance coin which I'll get into in a little bit to purchase these altcoins so all you do is go down here and type in the amount you want it also says the, the max amount I can buy but if you didn't want to do that say you wanted to use 50% of your Bitcoin or 50% of your Binance coin or whatever you can use this little neat tool and do 50% of your total amount of Bitcoin you have or even 100% whatever you want to do 25% and it would lock that number in and you can also change the price you want to purchase at or sell at and you just press buy or sell and up here right here on the right this is where all the altcoins are shown. This is all the different altcoins they have. They have a whole lot of them. And right up in this search bar, you could type in the name you want. So say we wanted to search NEO. You type NEO, click on it, and it pulls up the NEO exchange. Very simple, very nice when it loads. All right, new exchange, crazy volatility lately, but you get the gist. So let let me just show you the advanced version real fast, to just to show you what it looks like. Pretty much the same as the basic, but just a, a little bit more scary looking, if that's the right word. So if you are new to this, just go ahead and use the basic version. There's not a difference between the two, it's just preference. Alright, this is the advanced um, exchange. So over here you see you have the graph. They have a little more graphing tools, which is nice. Um, down here they have uh, all your uh, current altcoins that you're holding. Over here they have uh, the sell orders, the buy orders, the history, the trading history, and down here where you buy and sell whatever altcoin you're looking for. So let's go back to the home page and I want to show you guys how to deposit and withdraw different altcoins and Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff. 
So here on the home page, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to funds. Then it's going to say de deposit withdrawals and history. On history, that's going to show all your deposits and all your withdrawals. Fairly self-explanatory. Under here, it's going to list all the altcoins, but if you click on this little check mark, it will hide all the zero balances so you don't have to see all of them. So these are currently all my holdings. Some of them I don't really have anything in, but these are all my current holdings. And it will list the amount you have, the available balance, if you have any in order as if you are selling any or if you're purchasing any, their Bitcoin value, and then over here where it says deposit and withdraw. So if you want to deposit more substratum to, well, let's use Bitcoin as an example. If you want to deposit Bitcoin into your Binance account from, say, Coinbase or a wallet, you would press deposit, and then it would generate you an address. So I would copy this address, and I would go to my wallet or Coinbase or wherever, paste this address into there, and send. Now, it does take a couple minutes to get to Binance so don't freak out thinking you lost your money it just takes a couple minutes it could take up to 10 minutes one day it took me like 15 20 minutes to get my coins it happens it is what it is but um that's how you do that now if you want to withdraw you do the same thing you press on withdraw but the difference is you would go to wherever you want the coins to go take that address paste it in here and submit very simple now under orders you have open orders order history and order trade Open orders is going to show all your orders that are currently active. So if you're selling anything, if you're buying anything, and it didn't transact yet, it would show right here. Now, I don't have any, so it's going to say I don't have any. Order history, this is going to show all your transactions, whether it's you buying stuff, selling stuff, blah, blah, blah. So this shows all my transactions, which is nice. And you can also export the complete order history so you can print it out and save it somewhere if you need it for any reason. And here is also the trading history, which is the same thing. Now they do have a good support team. They're pretty fast in responses and it's just a really good overall community. Now what I wanted to talk about with the Binance coin, which is really neat, is if you use their own personal coin, the Binance coin, it's, uh, I think it's in the top, it's in like the 50 range on the crypto market cap. Let's look at it real fast. It's BNB, Binance coin. Uh, what's neat about this coin is if you use it on their exchange, so if you go on Binance and you purchase their coin and use that, you can actually use their coin to purchase any other coin on Binance. And what's neat about doing that is you cut the transaction fee in half. So instead of, instead of spending the whole transaction fee, you spend 50% of the transaction fee, which is really nice. If you guys aren't going to be doing this off this that much often, I mean, you can just use Bitcoin and just do the whole fee. It's not that expensive. It's a really low fee. Um, it really depends on how much you purchase, though. So um, that is the gist of Binance. I highly recommend using this exchange. It is hands down my favorite exchange. It's nice and simple. It's clean. Um, it's a great place to store your cryptos. I mean, I definitely recommend storing your cryptos on a separate wallet, but some of these cryptocurrencies don't even have a wallet yet. So if you gotta store them on here, they're not going anywhere and you can always trade them whenever you want instantly it's very fast and easy um yeah i appreciate you guys watching this video if you thought it was helpful for you new guys out there looking to invest in cryptocurrencies give it a thumb up thumbs up maybe subscribe maybe i have a couple other videos that would interest you guys and uh thanks for watching i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next video see ya